it's 12 midnight and uh, I have some scary news on Halloween coming up. I happen to live in a haunted hotel. I didn't know this place was like that, but uh, there's evil spirits in the hallways walking up and down. You can feel a cold draft down the back of your neck. I hear voices uh, coming out of nowhere where there's no people. This just started happening recently. Now I'll tell you what else has happened. This bed that I'm on, <coughs> this bed is haunted. Yeah, <coughs> I'll get comfortable and I'll explain. I was, uh, there's about three encounters. <sighs> it gives me the creeps to think about it, but uh, I was laying down, just resting, and all of a sudden I felt the end of the bed by my feet pressed downward as if somebody had come and sat on the end of the bed and their weight has pulled it down. I just heard a voice right now. Andy. Yeah, hear that? There's nobody behind that voice. There's nobody in the backyard there. I don't know where this is coming from. But anyway, the bed pressed down. I kind of got like this and I thought, oh God, I think that's sort of an evil spirit because somebody died in this room before I took it about two months ago and uh, there's more to come uh, more scary feeling is when I was resting here the shoulder right here so what happened uh, I felt something come across my shoulder kind of like this up and down a few times and I got the willies as both of my hands were down here and I could feel like an invisible cold hand rubbing my shoulder about three times and I and it went away, thank God it went away and uh, I got the willies from that couldn't sleep that night at all and uh, is there more? There is a third encounter this one's rated R or X but I'll try to keep it closer to R I was watching TV and uh, I kid you not, another invisible hand came kind of across my stomach, you know, and down farther, farther below into the family jewels area. And uh, at first I was startled, like, well, who's here, you know? And like an invisible hand. And I said to myself, I hope that's a female hand, not a male hand. And so I just imagined, I just kind of stayed there and went with it, hoping it would go away and hoping it was a female. And it started uh, massaging my family jewels, my groin area, up and down, and uh, something uh, started to, uh, cut, something grew, you know, I tried to say it nicely, and got me growing up, it was growing and growing, and for my age, uh, this invisible hand got it better than I could do it. I was up, I tried to keep it clean here. I know there's children watching, of course, and animals. Anyway, uh, kind of a constant massaging action going on. And before I tell you what happened, I take Flomax for enlarged prostate. It makes you go number one better. But the side effect you get is uh, if you have an orgasm, you have what's called, sounds horrible, reverse ejaculation. It goes back inside, nothing comes out. Chris Wilding told me what I told him. He said, my God, that's like making love to yourself and getting yourself pregnant or passing an STD to yourself. And that, I never thought of it that way before. So this hand completed everything. And of course, everything came out real dry then the hand pulled away and I was just laying there mortified thinking I better get the hell out of this place because see that invisible hand was only three nights ago and this is the Halloween time of the year and that makes it even worse so what I'm going to do just telling you the story it's giving me the willies and what I'm going to do is get on out and go get a cup of coffee get the hell out of here